Welcome to A State of Sight. I'm Isaac Porter and this is your update in ophthalmology and eye care. And in this episode, I would like to explain fungal infections of the cornea. Although these are rare, we do see them at times and they can be very aggressive and really do damage to the vision. Uh, so when we're thinking about uh, fungus that can affect the eye, there are two primary types. Uh, the first are yeast and then the second are molds. So for the yeast, you may hear about candida or other types of fungus that are out there. And for molds, the ones we see most often are fusarium as well as aspergillus. Now these sometimes may occur more frequently in warm or humid environments. And we can also see these when people may have an injury that includes uh, plant material, whether it scratches uh, their cornea or their eye or they have an injury with it. Now, one of the things that we first have to do to start treating the fungal infection is first find out that it is indeed caused by a fungus. So a lot of times if we have an infection that's not improving with regular antibiotic treatment or it may be getting worse, then we suspect that it could be caused by something other than bacteria. And what we can do is take a culture or a sample from the cornea and then send that to the laboratory. And then the laboratory can uh, grow the culture and then if there is anything fungal there, they can identify and let us know. Then we'll need to be treating it appropriately with different medications. Now the two primary ways to treat a fungal infection are either with pills or with drops. Now first with drops, there's only one commercially available drop that we can order directly from the pharmacy that's called natamycin. Now this can be a very effective uh, medication, particularly for the molds, and usually we start it every hour to begin with. Now in addition to this, we found also that the antifungal pills can be effective. Now people can take these by mouth and they do get very good levels of medication into the eye and into the cornea most of the times, so it can be a good additional treatment in addition to the uh, drops. Now, if these aren't getting us where we need to be, we can also inject medication directly into the cornea. So we can do this with a fine needle and using the operating microscope, then we can actually put the medication directly into the ulcer where the fungus is. This can get very high levels of the medication right there and can get improvements sometimes when we're not getting there otherwise. Now, uh, remember a couple other things. Sometimes fungal infections can be caused from contact lenses or they can grow in the contact lens case if it's not changed frequently enough like it should be and then lead to this type of infection. In very severe cases these type of infections may lead to a corneal transplant due to scarring or uncontrollable infection but hopefully most of the time we could treat it adequately before we get there. If you have any questions about fungal infections or these type of severe ulcers in the cornea please post we'll be happy to answer them. And until next time, good health and good sight.